I want to talk to you about mental strength because as we go into problems today, what we're really trying to do is go, we know we can't control that we're going to have problems, right? Everybody just amen that, hell yeah that, agree with that. We know we cannot control. Problems are coming our way. We woke up today, we put two feet on the floor and it means, hello world, there's a lot of problems and some of them are going to come at me. And again, this is not some wonky mindset of like, well, if I think I'll have problems, I'll attract problems. Come on, people. Uh, you know, problems are they're out of yogurt. Is that going to end your life? No, but you got in the car and you went to the store because you were out of yogurt and they don't have the yogurt and that's a little hiccup in your life. And problems are, I didn't know that my, uh, my husband was going to leave me. I knew things weren't great, but I didn't know he was walking out like this weekend. Sure, can you have some insights into things that you know are problems, but you don't always know they are a problem? I'm thinking about all of my therapists that I have coached over the years that may even be on this now going, how many times has somebody shown up at your office and said, I didn't know she was walking out? Like I knew things weren't great, but I really didn't know it was now, right? So problems are coming our way. And sometimes we can predict them. Sometimes we can't predict them at all, like getting cut off in traffic or, you know, twisting our ankle in the parking lot. And sometimes we might be able to predict them, but they don't, we don't know the timeline of them. So mental fortitude, which is a big part of winning, mental stamina. So write down some words, stamina, fortitude, strength, endurance, right? So stamina, fortitude, strength, endurance. A lot of winning is having mental fortitude, having mental stamina, have mental, having mental endurance. Resilience would be another way of saying it. Being able to be resilient through difficult times, being able to be resilient when problems come up. So how, how, how do you build mental strength? How do you build mental fortitude? And I want everybody to think about um, someone you know in your life and you're like, they just have mental fortitude. I, I Like things happen and I don't, it's not that I don't see this person. It's not that this person is emotionless or that they don't react, but they just go and step up and go and step up. And I've seen them like be hit with three massive problem darts in the same week and they seem to just be able to go and step up. Everybody knows somebody like that. Maybe it's somebody that you don't know personally, but you, you feel like it's somebody that you know that's a celebrity or an author or a speaker or someone. And maybe it's your cousin and maybe it's your sister. And maybe it's a good friend of yours. But get a picture of that, someone that you just go, damn, they just embody mental fortitude. So there are, there are things that make up that mental fortitude, right?